Praise the Lord, everybody. God is so good. And truly the Lord's mercy, it endures until the end. The Bible declares in the Gospel of Luke, the fourth chapter, I want to read in your hearing verses 18 through 20. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Hallelujah. That's good news. It's good news to know that our Messiah, our Savior has broke the power of sin over the lives of those that have accepted him as Lord and Savior. And this prophecy that Isaiah in the book of Isaiah, the 61st chapter prophesied, it's good news to know that the word of the Lord is true and is sure and you can stand on it and everything that God has said would come to pass comes to pass. God's word, hallelujah, is settled, forever settled in heaven. God's word cannot return unto him void. And we see here the prophecy was fulfilled. That's reason to give God praise right here. That's reason to get excited. Hallelujah. Because our Savior walked on this earth. The Son of God, hallelujah, came to set the captives free. It's good news to know that the Lord is the mender of broken hearts. It's good news to know that all can be set free. It's good news to know that blinded eyes, both naturally and spiritually, can be open. It's good news to know that Jesus can set the captives free. Jesus declared after he had been crucified that it is finished. Hallelujah. The ransom has been paid. Jesus, our Savior, has brought deliverance and given us the authority authority to do the same. Hallelujah in his name. Those that are his own by faith. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus can lay hands on the sick. And the Bible says that they shall recover. His born again children in his name can cast out devils and raise the dead. We too hallelujah in Jesus' name can preach the gospel of good news and see the power of God change the lives of the oppressed and I want you to know this evening that's good news I never want to close one of my videos without giving someone the opportunity to give their life to the Lord you know in the days and the hours and the time that we are living in now it demands that you know who you are who you belong to and where you are going and so I want to give you the opportunity to give your life to the Lord. If you have not heard the story, the Bible declares that we were all born sinners. It says over in the book of Romans, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And that transpired back in the book of Genesis where Adam disobeyed God. And because of Adam's disobedience, sin and death entered into the world. And so Jesus, who was God's sacrificial lamb because a price had to be paid for the sins of the world. So God sent in John 3 16, he says, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So that's what I want to give you the opportunity to do today, to accept Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, to wash away all of 
your sins. Romans 10, 9 says, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Romans 10, 13 says, if you call on the name of the Lord, he will save you. So just repeat this prayer after me. Also, if you have walked away from the Lord, come on back home. Just say, Lord, I confess that I am a sinner. I'm sorry for the wrong that I have done. Please forgive me. I invite you to come into my heart and be my Lord and my Savior. I denounce Satan. I declare that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died, that he was buried, and that he rose again. And now that I am your child, please fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. If you have said that prayer, God bless you. Welcome to the family of God. Know today all of heaven is rejoicing because you have chosen to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior. Welcome again to the family of God.